All right, we're out here with Finley today, who doesn't really want to be here. She wants to go and chase her chickens. We're going to do an all-day test again, because uh, it's supposed to be moderately windy all day. We can get another little, you know, idea of how they all compare to one another. So all my meters are going to be zeroed out. The only one that's not zeroed out is this one. It says something like 10 kilowatt hours. Uh, this meter is broken. I got to replace it. And this one is like it doesn't work at all. And this one doesn't reset for whatever reason. I might have uh, the Healy, or not a Healy, the, um, the i500 hooked to this one later. But as it is, we're going to uh, fire up the Missouri turbine. It's going to be this one on the very bottom. The washer motor turbine. Let's see it fire up. I don't know if it will. Wind's not quite up there yet. The I-1500, as always, here. And the Healy 2.0 is up at the very top of course it was it was at least a little breezy whenever I stepped out and did this and as soon as I unplug all the brakes <laughs> the wind dies now I guess I, I, I we're not running this today because uh, it, it's it's shot the the brake is just I can't even flip the switch and uh, yeah so I think that that controller is done uh, there, there was also a lot of uh, ozone smell last night and it was because I flipped that brake on while it was blowing 40 miles an hour we're gonna watch just for a second and see if everything can pick up so the washer turbine is going the I-1500 is kicked in I bet the Healy's going to come on any second. Yep, it just spooled up just now, right as soon as I walked away. And it's already making 1500 watts. Get our load all turned on. Oh, now it's uh, fired up. Let's uh, remember what I plugged everything into. So the. Uh, <laughs> see here we'll just pay attention to that those two don't really matter so much so uh okay so that's that for now we will check on this every hour throughout the day and we'll see how they produce we are starting everything at zero you actually see how things are going so far the missouri turbines already made one watt hour the i-1500 and washer turbine are running neck and neck almost exactly and the Healy has already made 22 watt hours so we'll see what happens in an hour okay now I wanted to point this out and I'm doing it much later in the day because I realized I forgot to mention this earlier the last time I did this we had really strong winds coming out of that direction out of uh, out of the north and with no obstructions with uh, you know heading at our turbines today we have we had more wind because uh, <laughs> today we have more wind I'm gonna try to stick to the future context here uh, but it's coming out of a different direction the Healy I expect and you know benefits from it same thing with the washer turbine but the I-1500 sits in the prop wash for the Healy most of the day 
the uh, the Missouri turbine will probably be all right. It's a little bit offset and it's a little bit lower than the two bigger turbines, but it's probably still not going to get very clean air right right there. The one that's going to struggle the most is going to be the poor little I-500 because not only is it straight downwind from the I-1500 and Healy 2.0, it's got that tree to deal with and turbulence over the shop. So I think it's going to be a good test, but there are a few limitations that it's going to have to deal with. Okay, it hasn't quite been an hour, and that's because it took me longer than I expected to get it set up initially, but we are right at uh, a couple minutes past nine, and the Healy has made 332 watt-hours. It's more like 30 minutes, maybe. 140 watt-hours for the I-1500. The washer turbine is cruising along at 122 watt-hours. The I 1500 is pulling away from it a little bit at a time. The uh, Missouri turbine has made 21 watt hours. And the Easter Breeze I 500 has made 88. No, that can't be right. I just turned that on. <laughs> I forgot to reset that one. Okay. So everything else gets about a you know, 30 minute head start on the I-500. Okay, so nine o'clock. We'll be back in an hour. Okay, we are sitting at 10 o'clock and our Healy is sitting at 1,391 watt hours. The I-1500, 610 watt hours. The washer machine is sitting at 501 watt hours. The Missouri turbine is at 107 watt hours. And the Easter Breeze I-500 is at 100 watt hours. I do you think that's neat? Our Missouri turbine, the Easter Breeze I-500, uh, the, the Missouri turbine even had half an hour head start on the Missouri turbine and it's almost caught up. Okay, we are sitting at 11 o'clock and the uh, Healy has spent most of this morning laid back. We'll go get a little bit of footage of it. It's going to be loud. But we are sitting at 2,757 watt hours on the Healy 2.0. 1,196 watt hours on the I-1500. 973 watt hours on the washing machine. 250 watt hours on the Missouri uh, Freedom turbine. And 209 watt hours on the Easter Breeze I-500. It looked earlier like that I-500 might catch up with the Missouri turbine, but the Missouri turbine is pulling away from it. It's a shame it takes this much wind to actually get reasonable numbers out of that Missouri turbine. All right, we'll be back in an hour. Okay, we are at 12 o'clock so far. The Healy is at 4,257. The I-1500 is at 1,852. 8, 1858. The washing machine is at 1503. The Missouri Freedom is at 417. 
and the I-500-311. Alright. Okay, it is 1 o'clock. Everything is still running pretty good. Our Healy 2.0 is sitting at 5,633 watt hours. The I-1500, 2,432 watt hours. The washing machine, 1,978 watt hours. The Missouri Freedom, 560. And the Easter Breeze I-500, 390 watt hours. Again, one o'clock, we'll be back at two o'clock. Okay, two o'clock. The Healy 2.0 sitting at 7,154 watt hours. The I-1500, 3,040. The washing machine is at 2517. The Missouri turbine, 728. And the I-500, 480. We'll be back in an hour. Okay, we are at three o'clock. Uh, the wind is actually dying down a little bit. It's being a little bit more calm, but still making some decent power. Our Healy 2.0 sit at 8315. The I-1500 is at 3,493. The washing machine motor is at 2923. The Missouri Freedom, 974, and the Easter Breeze I-500, 543. All right, so one more hour down. All right, we are at four o'clock, and the Healy 2.0 is at 9,550 watt hours. The I-1500 is at 3,951.52. The washer turbine, 3,358. The uh, Missouri Freedom, 1,230. And the I-500, 607. I do want to point out something real quick. That thing has been a lot of its day and the wash from the the Healy I just thought that was kind of fascinating right now the wind has been dying down a lot but you can still see it moving around a lot whereas that one's moving around a little the Missouri turbines moving around a little that thing's always wobbling around all over the place but the I-1500 moves around a lot and it's because it's, it's pulling turbulence off of the Healy 2.0. And then this poor little thing, this is the I-500, which has to contend with air flowing over the shop and that tree. So, it's a little gimped. Anyway, all right, we'll be back in an hour. Okay, we are at five o'clock. Now here, just a little while ago, I snuck out here right as this rolled over to the 10,000 mark and uh, I reset it because whenever this meter, uh, <laughs> after it hits uh, 10 kilowatt hours, it stops giving you the watt hours. So it'll just say 10. And right now our wind's kind of slowing down. So if I did that and I let it sit at 10, it might sit at 10 for the rest of the night and look like we didn't do anything. I wanted to reset that. So right now we're actually at 10,510 watts. We want to be real specific. It's probably about 10,500 because it was just below <coughs> the 10,000 mark. So we'll say 10,512. The I-1500 is sitting at 4,295. Washer motor 3674. Uh, the Missouri Freedom, 1,410, and the I-500 is sitting at 649. Uh, that's what we got right now. We'll come back in about an hour and see what's going on. Uh, like I said, our wind is dying down. 
you can hear the the Healy is slowing down the uh, I-1500 is not flopping around quite so much everything's kind of calming down so we might only get a two or three more checks before the end of this okay so we are at our six o'clock checkpoint and the wind has died away real sharp it's uh it's not moving much at all right now and you can see by the fact that we've only moved like 300 watts from the Healy since you know, in the last hour so uh, right now we are sitting at 791 which again that's 10,791 watts for the Healy 2.0 4,393 for the i1500 3776 for the washing machine 1,464 for the Missouri Freedom 667 for the i500 now uh with the way the weather's settling down i think as we get closer and closer to sunset it's uh really killing off i imagine we will get maybe one more good count and then that'll be it for tonight so stay tuned Bonus chickens! Work, 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 work. Okay, we are at the end of our day. It has come to a complete standstill outside. All of our turbines have stopped, and the totals, as they are for the Healy 2.0, it produced 10,802 watts today. The I-1500 produced 4,395. The washer turbine, 3,778. The uh, Missouri Freedom, 1,465, which did way better than the last time. And then the I-500, 667 watts total for today. And again, I will have, uh, at the end of this, a graph that shows all the numbers as they, they go and uh, you know, laying all the information out. And I will also attach... To the end, uh, the the numbers from the last test, for the sake of comparison, um, I want to do this a few more times and make it kind of a regular thing whenever we're going to have these blowy days. So, uh, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Good night.